and good evening. The Municipal Center behind me here is closed. When we went in earlier today, the first selectman's door was locked. His house, which really is a stone's throw away from here, we did knock on his door. No one did answer that door. But when you speak with folks here, they are obviously surprised by this development of the Bethel Town leader. Now, Burke was arrested today, earlier today, and according to police, a warrant was issued for Mr. Burke in regards to harassing phone calls that were being made to an unidentified victim. He was released and is due in court in Danbury next month. Meanwhile, people in Bethel were really learning the news from us, and some were quick to come to Mr. Burke's defense. Mr. Burke is a uh been a staple of this town for many, many a years. He's helped many a person out. He's probably been the best first selectman we've ever had in the town, by far. Um, whatever difficulties he's gotten into, I imagine it will be settled out in court, and uh, that'll be that. Again, we did go to his house. We did see some movement inside, but no one answered the door. Meanwhile, Mr. Burke is up for re-election, and he has information about his re-election campaign on Burke2009.com. We're live in Bethel this evening. I'm Jamie Miro, News Channel 8. The first selectman in Bethel facing serious harassment charges. State police say that Robert Burke is accused of making harassing phone calls to someone in Southbury in December of last year. The 62-year-old turned himself in today. He is free on a promise to appear in court on September 8th. He has no plans, though, to step down from office and, indeed, plans to run again. I think it's alarming for anybody who lives in town to realize that, you're, that their chief elected official was arrested. A government leader under arrest in one town accused of making harassing phone calls. Live, News Channel 8 at 11 starts now. Good evening. A town leader in Bethel is under arrest tonight. Police say the first selectman is in trouble for making harassing phone calls to someone. News Channel 8's Jamie Muro is live in Bethel tonight. Jamie? And good evening. A normal season of politics takes an unusual turn today as we learn that the first selectman of Bethel is erect, arrested rather, just weeks before the Republican primary. Small town, big news. The leader of Bethel being arrested Monday caught many people by surprise. The first I've heard of it, all I can say is innocent until proven guilty. 62-year-old Robert Burke, who is up for re-election in the Republican primary, was arrested on a warrant Monday morning and charged with second-degree harassment involving phone calls. We went to Burke's home not far from his town office, but no one answered the door. Alice Hutchinson, a Democrat who used to use this office and was replaced by Burke, says the news is disappointing. I think it's alarming for anybody who lives in town to realize that, you're, that their chief elected official was arrested. Um, it, it's difficult. It's painful. It's tough to, uh, you know, Bethel is full of good and decent people. None of us needs to have news like this. But there are some voters who think Burke's hard work in office since 2005 speaks for itself. Mr. Burke has uh, been a staple of this town for many, many years. He's helped many a person out. He's probably been the best first selectman we've ever had in the town, by far. Burke's potential Democratic opponent, Matthew Knickerbocker, is not asking for Burke's resignation. It's certainly going to be a distraction, and it, the news is going to be a distraction. It, there's going to be an awful lot on his mind, and I think that is going to impair his ability to run the town. Burke will appear in court next month to face his misdemeanor charge, which will be one week before the Republican primary. I don't wish him ill in that regard. I know this is going to be a difficult time for him, but we're close enough to the election that I think it's time for the people of Bethel to decide who they want to represent them. Whatever difficulties he's gotten into, I imagine it will be settled out in court, and uh, that'll be that. As far as his job performance here in town, we couldn't have asked for a better, better man. Now, also running with Mr. Burke for a selectman position is Bill Slifkin. We did go to his house today. His wife told us that he was in a meeting discussing this very issue surrounding Mr. Burke. Also, Burke's opponent in the Republican primary is Lawrence Krabus. We did call Mr. Krabus, left a message. Our phone call was never returned. Again, his court date, Mr. Burke's court date, is September 8th. The primary is September 15th. We are live in Bethel tonight. I'm Jamie Muro, News Channel 8. Bethel First Selectman Robert Burke, seen in this photo, is facing harassment charges after turning himself into state police in Southbury. I don't know any details. I know, um, from what I understand, he's got a good reputation in the community. I know he's up for re-election. Burke's arrest comes just three weeks before the town's primary election. An election sign was out in the front of his Greenwood Avenue home, but no one answered the door. That's not very cool. 
but you know, innocent until proven guilty, I guess. So I guess we have to find out the details and figure out what really happened. State police are releasing few details, but we know that this arrest was eight months in the making. State police only saying that Robert Burke allegedly made several harassing phone calls on December 30th, 2008. State police are not saying who he called, but several sources say it was a woman that Burke was interested in. Anytime there is a breakdown uh, uh, from an elected official, it, it, it doesn't serve the community that they are serving. Alice Hutchinson was a Democratic first selectman in Bethel until Burke defeated her in 2005. I have a feeling that as a lot of this comes out, the political process will take care of itself. Republicans didn't nominate Burke for re-election to a third term, but he petitioned to be on the primary ballot. Democratic candidate Matthew Knickerbocker says voters will have the final say. I'm not calling for his resignation. Uh, you know, I, I don't wish him ill in that regard. I know this is going to be a difficult time for him, but we're close enough to the election that I think it's time for the people of Bethel to decide who they want to represent them.